The showrunner for the Halo series responds to the infamous quote about them not looking at the games to make the show. A former Bungie employee comments on the Halo TV show as well. Do you want to know more? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again, give you another Halo informational news video for you guys all to enjoy today. Today we're again, we're talking about the Halo TV show because well, there's not a whole lot else going on with Halo. And I'd say for the most part, the majority of the community actually really enjoyed the first episode, myself included. After the second watching, I actually liked the show even more. I'd probably give it like a solid eight out of 10. Like I don't really expect them to do much better than what they did for the first episode. I actually sat down and watched it with my wife, who's not really a Halo player, but she knows about Halo and stuff like that. And she loved the episode and can't wait till the second one comes out. Even my wife's mom ended up watching the series without us telling her to watch it. She told us that she watched it and then watched it again right after watching it because she enjoyed it that much. Obviously, that could be a little bit of my influence of putting on Halo into the family here, but I just think that's just a really awesome thing that people who just don't really care much to play or know anything about Halo are enjoying the series. So that's really awesome to see. Though it wouldn't be Halo if it wasn't pissing off somebody within the community. And there's been some controversy going into the show before anybody actually had a chance to watch it. One of the most infamous quotes out there was the quote that was posted by Variety saying that they didn't look at the games and they didn't even talk about the games when it came to Halo, which you're like, well, this is a show based off of the video games. You would think you need to look at the video games to understand how to make a show about the video games. Well, the showrunner for the Halo series actually replied on Twitter to Variety, kind of going like, okay guys, let's take it back a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this tweet right here is pretty much what's been making the rounds within the Halo community. Basically, this does not look good for the Halo show when it comes to the people who made it, which it definitely seems like it's taken out of context. Uh, the quote saying that, that we didn't look at the games, we didn't talk about the game. For Halo Season 1's showrunner Stephen Kane says of his prep with the games developer 343 Industries, we talk about the characters and the world, so I never felt limited by it being a video game, which sounds kind of like, so you just didn't look at the games, and that didn't sound very good, at least that's the title, and Stephen Kane himself actually replied to this on Twitter saying, headlines are fun, but here's what I really said. To make the Halo TV series, we started from the game and then we made the pilgrimage to 343 to study the entire canon so that we could bring the full Halo experience, which I think that's probably a much more accurate representation of what was actually going on with the development of this TV show. It wasn't them just like, okay, what, Master Chief goes, he shoots aliens, okay, that's all we need, you know? It wasn't like that. Like, they literally studied Halo to and the entire canon to make this show, which after watching the first episode, I could definitely see that they definitely looked at the games when it came to uh, making sure that it felt like Halo when it came to producing this show. Uh, definitely with like the Master Chief recharge shield sound, uh, the original combat evolved camo sound that came from that elite. Uh, this cave is not a natural formation. You cannot look at the games and not see that uh, as an option, like as a reference. Cause like this cave is not a natural formation. It's just been like a long going meme. That's kind of like, if you've only played combat evolved, you would understand what that meme was. And yeah, they worked hand in hand with 343. They it, within so it says right there within the title screen saying and with association and with 343, like they don't need to play the video games. They just go to the 343 employees and go, okay, does this fit the lore of Halo? And they say yes, no, or kind of make it feel like Halo. Because these guys are professional writers. These guys are professional. They've ran shows. They understand tropes. They understand character dynamics. I kind of view it as like an analogy of like when you ever you ask a friend for some help when you know you could probably just go up and research it, but you ask a friend because you probably give a much more direct answer that for the same outcome that you need. I'm assuming it's something kind of like that dynamic with the showrunners and also 343. And 343 employee Kiki Wolfko, who is the head of Transmedia at 343, basically the 343 representative for the show, saying early on we were thinking of doing something that could tie in very closely to the game. What we were finding was trying to verbatim stay with everything that could come before wasn't serving the media. Medium. It also wasn't serving the creative teams and their needs to express a story and build the world through their eyes, which doesn't really sound like that great to hear, right? It's basically kind of going like, well, the TV show, people wanted to go do it this way and we couldn't follow the lore exactly. But I think what they're really trying to say is that like, it just 
going from like a video game where you can like have unlimited potential where you could go what kind of set pieces and you know characters and things like that you can throw into the sh into the games the show there's limitations with real world limitations like and resources and gathering and, and a whole bunch of other kind of things that go into making a show so i can understand like how there'd be a lot of limitations right there uh, another person involved with the show said uh, there's no way i was ever going to grasp the whole thing so there was a lot of phone a friend like i was talking about earlier like phoning three four three be like hey does this work well saying the director says of his collaboration with 343. At the same time, uh, they were extraordinary in their acceptance of the fact that they couldn't just try to square peg round hole their 20 years of history. Uh, gaming is a completely different medium, which I completely agree with that statement. Because the way you tell a story in a video game is very different than the way you tell a story within a TV show or movie. I just feel like they didn't do that great of a job of being like straightforward of why they decided to go with like their own timeline and things like that. I think they just tried to find a way to say like, it's just really hard to make a show with being, you know, true to the lore and the video games and things like that. But I will say after my second watching of the show, I actually enjoyed it a lot more. And I'd say it still feels like Halo. It doesn't feel like a generic sci-fi shooter kind of thing or something like that. It felt like Halo, which was pretty freaking awesome. Like that's that's my main experience. Like I don't really actually want to even see them retell the games because I know exactly what happens within the video games. I want to see them tell like new experiences with Master Chief and Spartans and the UNSC and stuff like that. Like and I thought the first episode did a great job because even Variety didn't even post the entire quote for the context when it came to this as article as well. So a lot of times you have to take in consideration that like yeah, a lot of times that like, people are just trying to get clicks on the internet. A former Bungie employee had this to say about the show as well. So in watching the first episode episode of Halo was so moving. I felt joy for everyone that ever worked on this game, seeing you know, other developers, even uh, Marcus Leto, who was the art director at Bungie, Eddie Smith, and my work. Screenshot is one of my creations verbatim, which this picture right here is basically an exact recreation of the Dreadnought that's on High Charity, but in the Halo TV show saying, you say that it's a, basically the guy who created it said it's like verbatim on the show right here. So that's incredible. And he said, feels super grateful that they actually were able to be so true to the Halo art style while making the Halo show. Continuing on saying, I wasn't expecting to see everything we worked on recreated without almost no artistic license, which I said, like, look at that. This is a profit, like pretty much looks like the profit from the games. Obviously there's some little differences, but that's a profit. You know, like when you see that, they also said the high cherry looks exactly the same as Eddie's matte painting from Halo 2. So even the guys who like created the art style for Halo and these characters said that the Halo TV show recreated a lot of this very faithfully, which I would totally agree. Though a fan did reply about this saying that like with Pablo Schreiber taking his helmet off kind of ruined the illusion of Master Chief. And also Paul Russell here did say that uh, it was a tricky choice to make Frankie, who Frank O'Connor right here, who was one of the you know heads at 343, uh, was saying on my Facebook thread that these things wind their way back to something fans are more comfortable with around the third episode. I don't mind the Band-Aid being ripped off. Let's see what they do. I'm excited, which I'm kind of in that same boat as well, where it's like, you know what? Guys, it's a TV show. There's going to be differences between the games. It, that happens with literally every time source material like a game or a book go into like a movie or TV show. Things change. Things are different because because a TV show and movie require a different type of storytelling with the medium because it's such a passive experience that you need to be kind of over the top with like the engagements of human interactions. Because when you're playing the video game, you're the one who's making all the decisions and choices and acting out everything that the Spartan does. So you don't have to make that personal connection with Chief because you are Master Chief. When you're reading the books, you don't have to go over the top with like human interactions and things like that because you're the one that's imagining this entire scenario of how it all plays out. You probably have your own personal image of how like Reach looks from like reading the books and things like that. The important thing is just staying true to the source material while also not being like a verbatim telling. And I feel like so far with episode one of the Halo show that they're doing a great job of that. If you guys are new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.